Everything else is ashes or twisted metal. In August of 2021, it came right down through here. Ken Donnell walked among the embers of his music store <sighs> and home in downtown Greenville, burned in the Dixie Fire. Just stuff. It just hurts. Stuff, but his stuff. As he surveyed the devastation along what had once been a main street lined with century-old buildings, Donnell made a vow. We lost one dream, now it's time to make a new one. Two years after the Dixie Fire wiped away this historic town from Indian Valley, Donnell and his dream are still here. It was a beautiful town, I miss it terribly. The ruins of Main Street have been cleared, replaced with empty lots, and the bones of historic buildings. I miss it so much, and yet we can't recreate that. That's gone. And so are most of the town's 1,200 residents. So many of my good friends have been scattered to the four winds, and some of them are never going to come back. But the sounds of heavy machinery here are signs of life. Just off Main Street, residents created a pop-up downtown called The Spot, with restaurants and bars. A greenhouse is the community's gathering place, especially when the snows come. A block from where Kevin Goss's pharmacy burned down, he now operates the Way Baby Way Station Bar and Restaurant. I'm still here, you betcha, and I'm not going anywhere. From his business, Goss can watch a handful of new homes rising up and families moving in. Once you see another roof going on, once you see another wall going up, it, it adds to that momentum. Jennifer Gray Thompson of the Fire Response, Bay Area-based group after the fire, is a regular visitor, helping to connect residents and town leaders with knowledge and resources. To see this amazing uh, wildfire resistant, really climate resilient housing go up here, uh, really the most impressive example that I've seen in six years of doing this work. Among the new homes rising on this blank canvas of terrain, my house is amazing, is Ken Donnell's. This is a two bedroom, one bath house. My new home here in Greenville, California. Well, this is my new kitchen. Beautiful, efficient. Donnell's home was built specifically with fire in mind. This is one eighth inch thick plate steel. There's no airspace. There's no combustible materials. I am never going to have to worry about a wildfire destroying my home again. This view out here, this, this is what I came back for. Donnell's sightline is filled with blackened trees, but also the greenery of new growth. And we will live in this ruined landscape, but we'll also watch it recover. Along Main Street, a new post office is under construction, flanked by the hills where the flames marched into town. A new antenna pipes in badly needed internet. The town is rewriting its history to fill a soon to be built history museum. Beneath the scenes of devastation, seeds of hope just beginning to take root. If you're gonna live in a place like this, you have to be tough. Joe Rosado Jr. These are the kind of people who are here. NBC Bay Area News.